I think art and music, the best universal language you can imagine. It takes some element in life to raise the spirit of people and I think art is uh, excellent, is, is really uh, something that can achieve this. Tradition does not mean staying with what's already there. Let's welcome to the stage, from Mexico, Temok. From Because those who invented that tradition, they brought new elements to it. on the spirit of the tradition we feel it is our duty also to add new elements to the tradition of outdoor playing. People from all over the world working together peacefully, respecting one another. We have people from countries who are not at peace together, but the artists, they, nobody has a problem. We play tunes that are more rhythmic than uh, traditional Alphorn tunes. We bring the rhythmic element into the foreground. We also try to bring new harmonic elements to the Alphorn playing, especially when playing uh, as a quartet. We can alter the length of some of the horns and achieve new harmonic possibilities. Out of interest, we have both started out as trumpet players uh, and got interested in uh, Swiss uh, traditional culture. What's special about the Alphorn is that it's got only this one scale of natural overtones. It is not possible to play some notes, so we have a limited range of notes which, which is a, an artistic challenge to deal with. With a limited variety of notes, we try to express ourselves musically like any other instrument does. Originally, the melodies of the Alphorn, as they were improvised by the cowherds up on the Alps, served to communicate with the animals, with the cattle. There were certain calls, certain simple motives that uh, are the base of many traditional melodies. That's our starting point. But then, living in the 21st century and being exposed to all the music going on, we try to also uh, insert more elements to the Alphorn, to introduce uh, contemporary music elements to the Alphorn. Hello, Kathmandu. Some of the most memorable experience is always when we are performing for children.
Just the other day we were at this school for Tibetan children and it was just pure joy the way they paid attention to us, the way they reacted, the way they were enthusiastic about our performance. Or another, I remember performing in China in Wenzhou at a school for blind and deaf children and this was also very, very touching. I think the children, they are the most honest audience that you can ask for because they show how they feel. They will not be polite and say, oh yes, that was interesting when they're not really interested, but they really, and they are so spontaneous in their reaction. It is the best audience you could ask for. Music as the best universal language you can imagine, who touches the people directly, can bring optimism, energy, dignity to the people. All over the world, working together peacefully.